Hi everyone, I'm JD from Miller Down Journals and welcome back to my channel. It is Saturday, so that means reading out a chapter from the book, The Art of Mental Health, Drawing My Way Through Depression and Anxiety. So for those who don't know, I wrote this book about my journey back in 2015 and 16 when I went through depression and anxiety. And during those two years, drawing was my lifeline. It was the way I could express myself and understand what I was going through. And yeah, this became a bit of a journal of my journey of everything I thought and felt and everything I learned and all the tools that I learned to overcome depression and anxiety and to also hold me in good stead for the rest of my life. Um, because we all go through struggles, we all go through pain and this was all a learning curve for me to um, find out how to respond in a way that is healthy rather than, than in a way that is harmful. So yeah, I hope that this is a helpful series. I'll link the playlist below if you want to catch up on the other chapters. And basically I just read out a chapter and share a bit more of the context and hope that it's encouraging and hope that people don't feel alone in whatever they're going through and that there's no shame or taboo about this, that we can talk openly about this the way that we talk about a broken arm. <laughs> okay, cool. So um, this one is called Walking Teardrop, Teardrop and Me. When you cry, oh, this is a bit of poetry actually. When you cry all the time, you begin to think you are nothing but tears. That, tear, that only tears are inside you and only tears will come out. You become the tear. Or when you cry all the time, you begin to think of the tear as a person. The tear walks beside you wherever you go. You hold the hand of the tear. I was in so much pain that it felt like I became pain itself. I felt like crying so often that it felt like I was a tear. It was like I didn't exist anymore. Only pain and tears. So yeah, that was my existence at this time. Really, really painful time. One of the darkest times that I've ever been. Um, yeah, and I would just feel like crying day and night. And I would cry at night and I would cry during the day. And um, it just always felt like I was on the verge of tears when I wasn't crying and it was just like an existence a world of pain pretty much um so it wasn't fun at all but maybe you have been in that place before and you can relate and you know it's okay to be there it's okay to feel the way you feel um and this just helped me to express myself to put words and a picture to how I felt and at the time I couldn't tell anyone because I was too ashamed I was afraid of judgment and so I kept this all to myself for a whole year and no one knew about the pain I was going through I tried to hide it and put a fake smile on and all that kind of thing and pretend I'm okay everything's okay here um, but underneath all of that there was this um, incredible pain and just a lot of crying and a lot of tears so yeah, just a pure expression. Sometimes it comes out in drawing, sometimes it comes out in a journal entry or writing or through poetry. Um, as I always say, find a way that works for you, an outlet or a creative outlet that helps you to express yourself. Um, it's so helpful and to not judge it or shame it. However you feel and however it comes out on the page, um, to not be afraid of what you put on the page because it's just part of reality. It's just part of your um, existence and um, I always say like um, the first step is to accept it, not to fight it, not to judge it, not to hate it, not to reject it. Because if you do that, you're rejecting yourself and you're tearing yourself down. And you can never kind of get progress with that if you're rejecting your reality and who you are. Um, so I found for me the best way to respond was just pure and plain acceptance. Not a shred of judgment there and just... Um, once you accept it, then you can actually do something with it because you're like, okay, well, this is what I've got to work with. Now, what can we do? Rather than, no, oh, no, I can't feel this way. Oh, no, this is bad. I'm a terrible person. And you're tearing yourself to shreds. That way you just get stuck there. And yeah, you can't get out of it. And so for me, I found just to be okay with my feelings and to express them and to be okay with sharing it with other people and hopefully finding people that don't freak out but will just be there with you and say, you know, it's okay to cry, it's okay to feel this way and I'm with you in this and even if you feel this way for the rest of your life, I'm still here with you and that kind of thing. So anyway, just sharing any little tip or um, 
insight that helped me during this time. It was a two-year journey. I didn't learn this overnight. Um, there was months and months of pain and crying before I learned to accept this, before I was able to um, express this and communicate this with other people. So um, if you're in this place, I'm with you. <laughs> I know what it's like and I hope that you uh, can be okay with it and accept it and um, not be afraid or ashamed of it and not judge it because um, it's, it's all okay. Just feelings. It's just feelings. Feelings aren't scary. It's part of life. Um, but yeah, hope that you find a way to express it and a way to um, communicate with others as well. And definitely hope that the tears end, that the joy comes, that the singing and the dancing comes and the crying and the mourning and the grieving and the pain, that that will end, that will come to an end for sure. So yeah, just a short one here, but I hope that was helpful to know if you're in this place, you're not alone. Other people have been in this place too and it's all okay. It's all okay. So um, uh, I hope that's encouraging and if you want to share your story in the comments below or what's helped you in the comments below, you never know who's going to read your comment. So as I always say, um, share your story because you never know who it might help. Um, and my story is not going to touch everyone, but maybe yours will touch that person who um, others won't. So <laughs> yeah, um, anyway, thank you so much for listening and watching and um, until next Saturday, I will um, be back then. But this book is available for purchase if anyone might be interested as well. Um, it's available. There's one print copy left that I can send in the mail. Otherwise, there is ebooks available of this as well. If you're interested in just some artwork, um, they are available for purchase as well, if that might be encouraging to you at home. Um, so thank you so much for watching. You are all beautiful gems. You are precious gifts to the world just by being you. You bring light and goodness and beauty to those around you. So be you and shine bright. I know it takes a lot of courage and bravery to do that sometimes when you just want to crumble and, and hide, but you um, are a good thing in the world. So thank you so much for being you and for having that courage and bravery whenever you share your own stories and vulnerabilities. So thank you, thank you so much, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.